Got a new 100 amp hour Life Pro 4 battery by Bouge RV. Let's open it up and take a look. We've got a user manual. Nice looking manual. Comes with the terminal connectors installed on the battery already. 12 volt, 100 amp hour, nominal voltage 12 volts, capacity was 100 amp hours, and energy 1200 watt hours. Interesting. Here on the manual it shows 1280 watt hours. We'll test that and find out what it actually is. It says 1280 on the battery as well. I don't know why on this sticker on the side it says 1200. So that's a little bit interesting. Standard charge is 20 amps. Maximum charge is 100 amps. Maximum continuous charge current, 100 amps. Maximum continuous discharge, 100 amps. Maximum discharge current is 330 amps for two and a half seconds. Cycle life is 4,000 cycles to 100% depth of discharge. Low temperature charge protection, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and it will reactivate as the battery warms to 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll test that feature out. Maximum series voltage, 48 volt, and then maximum parallel current, 400 amp hours, IP65, and the length is 10.24 inches, width is 6.61 inches, and the height is 8.23 inches. And the warranty is a five-year warranty service for the battery by Bouge RV. This battery does not appear to have Bluetooth. So let's check and see what voltage the battery was shipped at. 13.19 volts. So we'll get it charged up and then we'll do a discharge test. I've got the uh, Group 24 Bouge RV 100 amp hour battery fully charged. So let's check the voltage. 13.67 volts is where we're sitting right now and I've got it connected to this little uh, discharge device so I can do a capacity test but before we begin with that I want to show you something that I discovered just by accident this particular battery does not mention anything about Bluetooth in the manual there's no QR codes to scan or none of that it doesn't say Bluetooth anywhere on the box but I have this app, which is the JBD BMS app. I just got it off the uh, Apple App Store. And I have two batteries listed here. They're both identical. So I clicked on the other one, which is this 15E3. And it pulls up this Bouge RV battery. There we go. 13.66 volts, 100 amps. If you happen to get one of these batteries or you're bummed about it because it doesn't advertise Bluetooth, if you have this JBD BMS app, you can pull this battery up on the app. I'll leave this turned on and we'll start the discharge process. And now here we're showing 11 amps discharge. So it's definitely this battery that I pulled up on that app. Interesting discovery about the app though. Drawn 11 amps out of the battery. All right, we'll see you in a few seconds. The capacity test has just completed and we came up with 102.01 amp hours, 1273.83 watt hours and the test took 9 hours and almost 7 minutes. So we met the uh, amp hour capacity test, 2 extra amp hours so you're getting your money's worth there and we're just slightly short of the 1280 and the watt hours 1273.83 and then here we have a look at the app it shows that the battery does have a Bluetooth sensor inside it but the battery is down to 10.33 volts under voltage protection activated and shut the battery off so anyway that was an interesting find on this particular battery now I'm wondering how many batteries I've had in the past that don't say anything about Bluetooth but they actually have a Bluetooth connection to the BMS so I just had this Bouge RV LiPo battery in the freezer and I'm going to connect it to my charger and I'm going to test the low temperature cutoff just to make sure that the uh, cutoff works if you're in a cold freezing environment you don't want to damage your battery by trying to charge it and that's the whole point of the low temperature protection so let's test it out 
So you can see here on the app, the battery's about 60% charged at 13.17 volts. And you look about halfway down the screen on the right hand side, it's showing the temperature sensor is 21.9 degrees Fahrenheit. The way this charger works, when I plug it in, this light will come on green and then it'll turn red once it starts to charge. Now if the battery shuts it down and keeps it from charging, then it'll go back to green. And I'm thinking we might see an alarm pop up on the app when that happens, but let's find out. So we'll get that plugged in. We've got a green light on the charger. Went red, it's trying to charge now. Boom, and it just shut off. So the low temperature protection does work. You can see right here we've got charge under temperature protection alarm and it just shut the uh, battery off. On the upper left hand side of the app you can see it flashing three red arrows or orange arrows for off. So it is protecting itself from low temperature. Now we'll get it charged back up and we'll do some uh, discharge testing. I have this new wave induction cooktop just with a pan of water on top of it here. Got my timer set up. Connected to a 2000 watt Bouge RV 12 volt pure sine wave inverter. And then I have the app pulled up on the battery Bluetooth. Now this battery is not advertised with Bluetooth, but I found out that it does have Bluetooth. And we'll put that on the screen now so you can check that out. And then this Bouge RV pure sine wave 12 volt inverter has its own monitor. So let's turn that on and we'll be able to see the, the watts and the volts. If you look at the uh, app, we're sitting at 100%, 13.37 volts, and it's almost perfectly balanced. And we'll just start this up. So let's go ahead and we'll turn on the, the uh, induction cooktop. And we're set on low now, 672 watts. If you look at the app there, and we're pulling 51 amps out of the battery. Oh, we also have the clamp meter here. We'll set that up so you can see that as well. Let's go up to the next level. That'll be a, about a thousand watts, a thousand and twelve or so. Fans just came on on the inverter. That's pulling almost 78 amps out of the battery. Let's go up one more step here. There we go. Now we're pulling 108 amps out of the battery. That's 1,394 watts. Let's start the timer. I want to let this go for about five minutes and we'll see if it can uh, maintain its maximum rating, which was 100 amps continuous for at least five minutes. There we go, five minutes at about 110 amps coming out of the battery. 1200 watts in the inverter and the app is showing 1395 watts, 110 amps. We just about have boiling water over here. Now just for fun, this has a 330 amp discharge for 2.5 seconds. So I'm gonna put this on high and I'm not gonna be able to get the 330 amps, but let's just put this induction burner up to its max and see how long it'll go. That's at 121 amps, 120. Got a hard boil on the water now. That's really pushing that battery. That's almost 20 amps over its maximum rating. It's actually holding that. And it doesn't look like it's gonna kick off. We need more amp draw in order to make it shut down. I don't wanna let that go too long, but let's put this little fan on here. Turn it on high. 123 amps, and it's still holding. Hard boil on the water. It's been going for our seven minutes now. Wow. All right, I don't want to let that go too long, so we'll shut that down. 
So let's look at the Bougie V LifePo 4 100 amp hour group 24 battery. Real nice battery. I'll link all this in the description, especially the battery, so you can have a look if you want more information. I'll include any coupons they give me for the battery and save you a couple bucks if you decide you want to get one for yourself. Real nice battery. Click the video on the screen now for another one of my LifePo battery reviews, and we'll see you over there.